All right, welcome back. Thanks for logging on and tuning in. If you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe. That way you can keep coming back over and over to hang with us and our fantastic creative guests in the arts and entertainment world. I'm Allison Murray, and right now we're at AuthorCon and Film Festival in Oneonta, New York, at the Holiday Inn, hosted by DTM Wicked Radio. We're hanging with author John Koloski. Thank you so much for hanging with us. Thank you for inviting me. So, give us the little book blurb here about your book. Oh, okay. Uh, I wrote the book, it's a series of books called Empires, and the first book is called Blood Blind. It's about uh, an artist who finds out that there actually are vampires and uh, the way vampires work, traditionally, I was intrigued by the idea that they can't really change size and shape. So how do they actually accomplish all that? And my main character, Adam Morrow, finds out that these vampires are psychic vampires and they can control your mind. And they're empathic, so he starts calling them empires. And that's where the series comes from. And uh, in the story, uh, he is attacked by them and blinded, and he finds out later he can get his sight back. Um, and the way he does it is he, he has to be around one of them, and he's around one of the, the female empires, and he falls in love. And I won't spoil the ending, but they actually have, uh, they conceive a child. And yeah, and then it changes the whole game for them. So what inspired you to become an author to begin with? Uh, I've always liked stories. I've always loved writing. Uh, I teach English now, which took me 35 years to come around to the fact that I should be doing what I love. And I went and I, it took me four years to get certified for English. And I had a degree in English from, uh, then it was SUNY Binghamton and now Binghamton University. And uh, since teaching, I went on and got a master's in creative writing and a Master of Fine Arts. Fabulous. Um, do you have any specific writing um, style? Uh, I, I'd like to say it's you know close to uh, Ray Bradbury. There are fantasy scenes, uh, probably Ray Bradbury. Some people have said uh, Carlos Castaneda with the, the dream sequences that are in there. And uh, I really, you know, like everyone else, I love Stephen King and uh, uh, Dean Koontz, people like that. So they're kind of images of that. Okay. Um, is there anything challenging that you find out about writing the, these particular stories? I, I'm a heavy person on outlines and plotting. <laughs> and uh, I'm working on the sequel now. And the plot lines are all tying together. So yeah, so for me, the story has to make sense from character to character. And uh, I, I like to tie that together. I, I've seen people do seat of the pants writing where they just sit down and write. And I can do it, but it always makes me feel uneasy. So yeah, my style would be have it all outlined and then I just write one section at a time. And it still surprises me. It goes in different directions. Yeah. Um, do you have to do a lot of research for your novels? Uh, for this first one, it wasn't so bad. I actually went uh, parts of it take place in Ithaca and Philadelphia, so I went there um, in Ithaca, the Cornell campus, uh, Cayuga Lake. In Philadelphia, there are scenes that um, take place at the Art Museum in Philadelphia, and it's called the Lemon Hill House in the park there. So I actually went there. Um, the second book was more challenging because there are, there are more, more references to uh, a lot of the urban legends. So I did a lot of research on that. And if you go to my house, there are tons of books on you know, ghost stories of uh, northeastern Pennsylvania and southern tier of New York and myths and legends and all that. And yeah, so it's a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. You find some interesting stuff when you're doing research. Um, where, where's your most favorite place to recharge, uh, come up with new ideas for new books? Um, probably, I, I like to go biking. And uh, especially like when I'm biking on trails, uh, there's a nice trail 
It's in Mansfield, starts in Mansfield, Pennsylvania, and it's a 62 mile trail. Wow. And I've done, yeah, I've done 17 and 30 miles on it. And uh, I love it when you're biking, you know, you can just think and, and work things out in your head. So, yeah. Uh, who designed your book covers? Oh, uh, I started with one artist and they tried three covers and it just didn't work. And I, it was kind of funny, I was uh, a sponsor at confirmation for one of my friends, for their son. And I was sitting there and this person walked in as another sponsor and it was an old friend of mine I hadn't seen in f about 10 to 15 years. And his name is Tim Ogeline. He's in New Jersey. He's taught at different art schools in Philadelphia and in New Jersey. And I didn't know he was an artist and he said, I told him my problem, I said, I have to have a cover for my book. He said, I can do that. And he read the book and made the cover so it fits the story. Oh, yeah, and uh, the, the back cover is done by a girl named Naya Poyer, and she works for Northampton House Publishing, oh. which was the press. Yeah. Nice. Um, did you find it um, challenging to get your first book published? Oh, yeah. I, I think I sent it out 25 times. Oh, wow. And finally, I said, that's it. I'm not sending it out anymore. And the minute I did that, I was contacted by academics um, that were associated with the Wilkes, uh, Wilkes University writing program, which is where I went back to school. And they said, we're interested in seeing it. And they formed a publishing company. And they were all published authors. And I was the first book accepted outside of their group. So it was, yeah, it was really unique. Yeah. yeah. Exciting. Um, has your writing process changed for you since you started your, since you wrote your first book? Oh, yeah. Um, I'm finding marketing takes a long time. Yeah. All like yeah. going to conventions and that. So I've learned to bring, bring the uh, notebooks and writing materials so I can work when, when I have downtime. Um, at, at home, uh, my children, I've watched my children grow up as I've been writing. It's quieter now. I have larger blocks of time. So it's easier to write. Um, it's just harder to focus on it. So, yeah, I think it's every writer's complaint. I don't have time. Yes, you do. And then you find the time. <laughs> And it's like, why am I not writing? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's coming up for you after today? Any more conventions, book signings? Oh, let's see. On uh, October 24th, that's a Tuesday night, a week from Halloween, uh, we've organized a reading in the library in uh, Montrose, Pennsylvania. So it's, it's called Frights and Fantasies. So they're fantasy authors and uh, horror authors. So I'm at that, and I'm also organizing it. And then after that, uh, I have a reading coming up November 4th at Buffalo Street Books in Ithaca. And I believe that's it for now, but we do a, a regular cycle. Um, Ithacon in Ithaca, New York comes up in March, and Scaracon yeah. just went by in Syracuse, uh, and there are others. So it, it's taking a lot of time. Yeah. So now I'm picking and choosing where to go, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, where can people find you, find your books? Uh, the book, it's available on Amazon, and you can get it for either Nook or Kobo, uh, any reader format through them. It's also available in paperback. Uh, they can find it there. Um, you can order it at the physical bookstores, or you can go online and look for it. I have a website. I don't sell through the website or through the publisher, but my website's under johnkoloski.com. And if they search for me, uh, that will come up. And also, it's my name on Facebook, too. Okay, good. Do we have time for a game? Let's play a game. Okay. I'm the, I'm the, I love playing games. They call me the game girl. What are we going to play? Let's play, let's play this, the five-second rule. Have okay. you ever played five-second nope. rule? Basically, you just pick a card, and you have five seconds to answer the question. <laughs> All right. You have one? I have one. You okay. pick oh, one. Oh, I pick one too. Okay. Yeah. We're going to play together. Oh, boy. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> name three penal Okay, name three penalties in football. Oh, uh You want me to name Oh my god. Flag. <laughs> <laughs> I hope, I hope mine's easier because I don't think I could either. <laughs> Name three types of dinosaurs. Oh, let's see. 
I know, I know, I know these. Stegosaurus, uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex, and I want to say Brontosaurus, but I know that's not real anymore. Allosaurus. <laughs> he did better than I did. <laughs> I don't know. Football. Yeah. <laughs> well, guys, it's been a blast. We've had so much fun hanging with John today. I am Allison Murray, but before we go, we want to thank our partners at Famous Faces and Funnies. Space Coast Comics, Off the Chain Radio with Yvonne Mason, The Word, Fire Press, Florida Book News, our great friends at Summon Unique Magazine, our brand new partner, ACES, Asylum Convention Entertainment Services with Heather Reed. These are the folks that share our videos all over the World Wide Web, and we hope you will too. Don't forget to hit that like button, leave a comment, let us know what you think of today's show and our guest. You can also check our guest links below. Remember to subscribe, log in, and stay tuned to see who we're hanging with next. Thank you, John. Thank you.